This is Chris Medeos. Like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to this channel, Chris Medeos. And subscribe to my other YouTube channel, World of Chris 1800. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my AEW Rampage February 4th, 2022 review. And I'm here to discuss about the first match. It was Adam Cole versus Evil Uno 101. It was an okay match. That match only lasted about four minutes. Um... At the ending of the match, we seen Evo Uno getting a good amount of offense in. He climbed up the top to Merkel, jumped off for a swanton bomb, but he landed on Adam Cole's knees. And then Adam Cole hit a jumping knee to the face onto Evo Uno and hit two super kicks onto him. And then uh, hit the uh, Shining Wizard, uh, the running knee to the back of the head of Evo Uno and then pinned him for the three count. So Adam Cole defeated Evo Uno tonight on Rampage. And then he starts cutting a promo at the end of the match talking about like how he's still undefeated how he um, beat Orange Cassidy and all of them in the past and how he's going to go after the AEW World Heavyweight Championship so yeah that's what Adam Cole said but next it'll be the TNT Champion Sammy Guevara versus Isaiah Cassidy one on one for the TNT Championship and still to come later on tonight Ricky Starks will be defending the FTW Championship against Jay Lethal later on tonight. So, yeah. So, the next thing that happened on AEW Rampage, um, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was the TNT Champion, Sammy Guevara versus Isaiah Cassidy for the TNT Championship. Now, if I have it yet, if I have it, if I forgot to give my rating to the Adam Cole and Evil Uno match, I'll give that a half a star. That's why I'll give it. It was an okay opener to Rampage, but this match it was pretty good. It was fast paced and everything between these two guys. Um, at one point in the match, we see Matt Hardy in a fear, hitting a side effect onto Sammy Guevara on the ring apron. You know, on his uh, pretty much damaging his uh, ribs still because he had that ladder match against Cody Rhodes about a week ago, or whatever. So yeah, uh, his ribs are still damaged from that match. So Matt Hardy pretty much done more damage to it. Um. But this match was pretty good. At one point in the match, it like Sammy Guevara was going to win when he jumped off the top term, uh, top rope, hitting a cutter onto him. And then he pinned him, and he kicked out two. But then Guevara picked him right back up, and then hits a GT8, uh, GTH. I think that's what he calls his finish move, onto uh, Isaiah Cassidy, and then pinned him for the three count. So yeah, Sammy Guevara defeated Isaiah Cassidy tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. For the TNT Championship on Rampage. So yeah, uh, Sammy Guevara retains the TNT Championship. But still to come later on tonight in the main event. It'll, like, it'll be Ricky Starks versus Jay Lethal for the FTW Championship. But I'll give this match between Guevara and Cassidy a... Uh, I'll give it a uh, one and a half stars as well. I'll give it a pretty good match between the two. It was fast paced and everything. So yeah, it was a good match between these two for the TNT Championship. Oh yeah, and then uh, we seen, and then uh, we seen QT Marshall pretty much uh, saying that Hook will be in the match next week against one of his students. So yeah, that match is happening next week. And I forgot to mention that uh, after the match between Sammy Guevara and Isaiah Cassidy, um, Sammy Guevara was about to get attacked by Andrade and Matt Hardy and them. Uh, but then Darby Allen came out to save uh, Sammy Guevara and pretty much got them back down from him. And then uh, Darby Allen started staring at the um, TNT Championships. So, yeah, uh, maybe in the near future, Darby Allen and Sammy Guevara one on one for the TNT Championship. Who knows? But, yeah, uh, like I said, pretty good match between those two. And, yeah, uh, so far, everything has been pretty good. So the next thing that happened on AEW Rampage, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Thunder Rosa versus Mercedes Martinez one-on-one. -on -one. Now, this match, it was an okay match uh, between the two women. Um, at the ending of this match, we've seen both of them brawling outside of the ring. But then Mercedes Martinez grabbed a pipe from underneath the ring and they hit Thunder Rosa with it. And it led to disqualification. So yeah, Thunder Rosa defeated Mercedes Martinez by disqualification so yeah and uh like jericho was screaming out on commentary yeah this is the first ever dq 
finish on Rampage, so yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what happened there. I'll give that match a uh, one out of five stars. That's what I'll give it. So yeah, I'll just give it one star. Um, but then after the match ended, Thunder uh, Mercedes Martinez was getting an interview backstage, and uh, then all of a sudden, uh, Britt Baker and Jamie Hay uh, Hater and um, and Rebel came backstage. To her, and then they was talking about um that thing, the plan that they was doing. But then Mercedes Martinez told uh, Brett Baker that she done what she said, and that was just to lay her out, and that's all. So yeah, uh, that's Mercedes Martinez saying, and then uh, Mercedes Martinez and Jamie Hader got face to face. So that was it. So yeah, like I said, it was okay match and everything. But up next, uh, Jay Lethal versus Ricky Starks for the FTW Championship. So the next thing that happened on AEW Rampage, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was the main event. It was the FTW champion, Ricky Starks, with Will Hobbs at ringside versus Jay Lethal, one-on-one -on -one for the FTW championship. And this match was uh, easily match of the night. I mean, this match was pretty good between these two guys. I'll give this match a uh, two out of five stars as well. I'll give it a pretty good match between these two guys. But uh, at the ending of this match, we seen uh, Jay Lethal try his suicide dive onto uh, Will Hobbs. But Will Hobbs moved out of the way and he crashed and burned pretty much. But then all of a sudden, Dante Martin comes into the ring and jumps off the top rope with a crossbody onto Will Hobbs, taking him out. And then Jay Lethal gets back into the ring. And then Lethal almost won at one point by hitting a jackknife pin onto uh, Ricky Starks. But Ricky Starks barely kicked out at two. And then Jay Lethal was trying to hit a uh, lethal injection onto Ricky Starks. But then Ricky Starks caught him while he was flipping his stuff. And then hit uh, Rochambeau onto him. And then got the three count onto him. So yeah, uh, Ricky Starks defeated Jay Lethal tonight. And he has retained the FTW Championship. But yeah, it was a pretty good match between the two. But for tonight's AEW Rampage, for one hour show... I'll just rate out five stars. I mean, I'll give this show a, uh, I'll give it a two and a half stars. Uh, or I'll give it a three, three out of five stars. Yeah. It's just because it's a one hour show. Ain't no point to rate it from out of ten, pretty much, like I do on the other shows. But yeah, it was, it was a pretty good, uh, episode of Rampage. Two title matches and all that. Main event was pretty good. Easily uh, match of the night, second, probably the TNT championship, but yeah, pretty good rampage tonight, but yeah, like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other YouTube channel, Word of Chris 1800, subscribe to this channel, Chris Manales, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, they'll all be down there in the description box, and I'll see you guys later for Monday Night Raw reviews, see you guys later, until then.